Rizepine, or also known as diuprus, cefazil, and brinadine, has a molecular structure of C33, H40, N2, O9, and a chemical structure of methyl 1117-alpha dimethoxy 18 beta 345 trimethoxy benzoyl recipient. It was first synthesized in 1956 by an American chemist, Robert Burns Woodward. Rizepin has an alkaloid which contains nitrogen atom that came from a root of Rowofia species. The chemical feature is monoamine neurotransmitter which is neurotransmitter and neuromodulator that contain one amino group connected to an aromatic ring by a two carbon chain. The example of monoamine neurotransmitter is dopamine, norepinephrine and serotonin. It is widely used in medical purpose. Rizepin rolls is to treat hypertension in order to lower the blood pressure. It is also used in psychotic treatment to relieve the symptom. Okay, to put it simply, how does rizepin work in lowering the blood pressure of patients with hypertension? Okay, so first thing that we need to know is that rizepin functions as a sympatholytic agent and antihypertensive medication by acting as an adrenergic uptake inhibitor. Specifically, rizepin irreversibly blocked the transporter in the adrenergic uh, neurotransmission pathway. So in the inhibition, it will result in a blockage of the uptake of serotonin, um, norepinephrine, dopamine, and into the storage vesicle. So, um, in the characteristics of rizepin, uh, which is a lipid soluble, it crosses the blood-brain barrier and slows the activity of the nervous systems, so resulting in the decrease of the heart rate, the cardiac output, peripheral resistance, and in addition to the lowering of the blood pressure, which is our main goal of rizepin. So, um, the effective region of rizepin are cardiovascular systems, um, central nervous systems, and also gastrointestinal tract. In terms of hypertension, it helps to relieve uh, patients who do not achieve an adequate lowering of blood pressure we're using a first-line drug treatment. So it's often used with a vasodilator. In terms of psychotic uh, symptoms, it helps to control the high blood pressure of the patient experiencing psychotic symptoms. It also helps to relieve the psychotic symptoms. And on, on the other hand, rizepin is used for patients with schizophrenia. So how does the rizepin being administered to the patient? So um, in terms of administration, it is quite simple. It is administered orally for both adult and pediatrics. However, for pediatrics, it is not commonly used. But however, when it's necessary, it is used as the first choice. So the adverse effects of uh, rizepin would be um, headache, would be drowsiness, uh, dizziness, loss of appetite, or even um, diarrhea. But a severe adverse effects include bradycardia, chest pain, hypertension, and also gastric ulceration.